Good afternoon, Detroit Bar Association members, other lawyers, family and friends of Judge Cohn. By now you have already heard a lot about Judge Cohn's personal history and his legal accomplishments, as well as his community activism. And so I want to leave you with a more personal note. Since coming to the United States District Court in 1994, I have on many occasions sought Judge Cohn's advice on everything from sentencing counsel to judicial relationships. Judge Cohn is the most well-read and intellectual member of our, of our bench. He is, on occasion, more temperamental than many of us, but he is always a kind and thoughtful friend. He gives advice, but he is not offended if you don't take his advice. And he has the history of the court and its judicial officers at, its, at his fingertips. He knows how and what or why we relate to one another the way that we do. He tells us what to read and what to look out for. He knows about his religion and heritage, and he knows about ours. At my very first judges meeting, Judge Cohn and Judge Horace Gilmer got into a heated argument. It was not the kind of thing I expected at a federal judges meeting, um, but I was surprised because the next day they were once again fierce friends. That taught me a lot about being collegial in a setting where people have lifetime appointments. One time, Judge Cohn said that I only asked him to lunch when I wanted something, and that was only partially true. But the truth of the matter is, on each occasion, Judge Cohn either gave me an answer to my problem or my dilemma, or he showed me a way to solve it myself. All of us should work to be the best of what you are, Judge Cohn. Let me leave you with this quote from the Christian Bible. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, from the book of James. And so once again, congratulations, Judge Avon Cohn, on your receiving the Dennis Archer Award.